What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com and today we are going to do a little bit of unboxing some new accessories that we got for Asher. But first, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how Asher is doing with the family and interacting. We've got her out, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video right now. Just keep your arms up and then she won't, just like this, and then she won't get it. You should buy me right here. You coming? Yeah, just try like a couple times and she'll let you. Like right now, she'll let you. She's a spaz, man. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got Asher out, but we've also got some new accessories that we need to put together for the cage. So I just wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing and cover some of the common accessories that I have to get for my chinchilla to give you kind of a better idea of what you might be able to expect or some of the accessories that maybe you could look into getting in the future. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, so first, I just wanted to give a little bit of a shout out here to the scatter guards. Let's call them the poop guards for the Critter Nation and Ferret Nation cages. These are heavily underrated for their ability to keep poop in the cage and basically what they'll do is they'll create a new barrier or a lip to where the poop doesn't fling out everywhere under your floor when your chinchilla is running around which happens way more than you think so I'm actually putting this on tonight I will show you that once it's complete but that is the first thing that we've got in the mail here for Asher just comes in a box like this comes with four pieces that attach right to the tray and I will be putting that on here in just a few minutes as soon as Asher is done with her bath time and time out of the cage here. Right, Asher? You're just hanging out, huh? All right, guys, next we have the granite stones that are specifically designed. Let me get the label here for you. These are what the stone slabs look like. They're actually kind of heavy. But these are basically a cooling platform for your chinchilla if they get hot. The granite is a better surface 
for them to cool down a little bit. I actually would like to create an entire platform inside of the cage that's all stone just by cutting it, you know, by getting a couple of the small slabs from like a Menards or a Lowe's or a Home Depot. But we're going to be putting that in the cage tonight too for the 10, 15 bucks that these cost. That is an awesome addition for any chinchilla cage that you should be considering. And it's kind of a health precaution safety kind of deal. Gives them somewhere they can go sit if they need to cool down. And again, 10, 15 bucks. And again, guys, links will be in the description below for any of this if you want to check it out. They are affiliate links. So when you go to them, it does give us a cut of that sale. We just want to be transparent about it and make sure that you're aware. All right, next guys, we have the four pack of the circle ledges that attach to the Critter Nation cage. These come with just those four bolts, or I guess it would be one bolt, I'm sorry, per shelving unit. And they just attach really easily using those washers to the side of the cage. But I wanted to give Asher here a bunch of new ledges. These guys, if you weren't aware, they love to jump they love to climb it's what they do in the wild so more platforms you can give them the better so we're going to add those four as well and at the end of all this we'll do a little update on the cage so you can see it but that's just one of the other things we decided to go ahead and get for asher here all right guys the next accessory we wanted to get is a new food bowl we do not use this for water but this actually attaches to the side of the critter nation cage or probably any cage for that matter but it definitely works for the critter nation cage it's a little bit big so obviously this thing doesn't need to be completely filled with pellets because i already have another food bowl in there but i wanted something that was attached and off of ground level inside of the cage because when she's done with her food, you'll often find the poop pellets that have found a way inside of the bowl. And I wanted to just elevate this up a little bit more off that ground level of any of the platforms to make sure that none of that debris and none of that poop got into her food. So I will be switching over to this as well. And again, that's called the Snap and Fit Food Bowl. And next, guys, we've got, these are just something you can always have on hand for your guys, the alfalfa or timothy hay cubes some chinchillas love the cubes more than the actual timothy hay some of them like the hay more some of them will eat both and they don't care right now i just like giving her the option of having a couple of those cubes in addition to her hay in addition to her pellets and whatever else is in the cage for but i like to have some of those on hand I put a couple in the cage each time I get her out and it just gives her something else to help file down her teeth and something else that's healthy and well balanced for her diet. Which, speaking of teeth, another good chew mechanism are the Timothy Hay sticks. That's all they are. They're just literally Timothy Hay chew sticks. So picked up some more of those. We will put those in the cage. She loves those. And it's another great way to make sure that your chinchilla keeps filing down their teeth. So, and it's another really cheap purchase too. Something to make sure that they can work their teeth down like they're supposed to be able to. It helps avoid dental issues in the future. And I would highly recommend having something like that on hand so that you can give them something not only to play with, something to keep them busy, but something that's healthy and healthy. All right guys, before you take off, remember to subscribe to the channel if this kind of content is helpful for you with your new chinchilla, be sure to give us one of those thumbs up because when you do that, makes all of the other chinchilla owners see these videos and help them too. Drop us some comments on what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And never forget to visit planetchinchilla.com. URL or the address for that will be going across the bottom of the screen here. And be sure to check out that ebook. Just use the top menu bar, click on ebook downloads and use promo code Chin Care 50 for 50% 50 off. That's C H I N C A R E 50 for 50% 50 off. Otherwise, we will catch you in the next video and update you about the cage being put together with all of those new accessories. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Take care. Mm -hmm.